How did that prom compare to the Hunter prom? <laughs> oh, well, gosh. Um, at this prom, uh, my mom got to meet Denzel Washington. At the Hunter prom, we went to an after party in Long Island where there was no actual party and turned around and went home. So this one was way better. <laughs> That's exciting. I mean, you've met so many people and so many people love your work still. What is the thrill for you in being in a position like this? Well, listen, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a movie dork and I'm a big Oscar dork too. So I was the guy, I was the very specific kind of nerd that would memorize Billy Crystal's musical monologues. It's a wonderful night for Oscar, 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 who will win? Um, so to be a part of that rigmarole is a thrill. And then also to bring my mom as my date. We used to watch the Oscars every year together. Uh, and so to have her kind of getting to meet all these people, seeing Viggo Mortensen speak in fluent Spanish and just the, the surreality of the scene. It's, it's a thrill, it's thrilling. As the songwriter of this nominated song, is this something that would come to you as you walk through Inwood Hill Park, dreaming someday of going from that part of the world to succeeding? Yeah, I wrote it across the street from Inwood Hill Park. I actually went, uh, I went full method when I was writing How Far I'll Go. I actually went to my parents' house, locked myself there overnight, and uh, wrote the song. I wanted to get in touch with that 16-year-old me who wanted a life in the movies and in theater and the distance between 200th Street. <laughs> And that is so impossibly far. It's about as far as Moana from her ultimate goal. So um, I went home to go write that. Could you ever have imagined that someday while you were watching the Oscars, you'd be here with your mom as a nominee? No, not in a million years. Although my mom was, uh, my mom always knew. My mom always said, when you get nominated, you're, I'm your date. I think she said it to me when I was 13 years old. So I, I'm very happy to keep my word to her. Does she have her dress picked out for the big ceremony? Not yet. She's do oh, she's doing a whole thing. There's a committee. There's a committee and there are friends and there are, there are, there's a task force at work. Now I have to let you go because you're going back to Mary Poppins, right? I am. I get on a plane and go right back to work. Did you show enough discipline to not sing any of the Mary Poppins songs to yourself <sighs> while you were in that room? It's hard because they're catchy. Mark Shaman and Scott Whitman are not known for writing uncatchy songs. Uh, and I'm going to have to sit on them for a year and a half because uh, this movie doesn't come out till Christmas 18. So I just, uh, I'm trying not to hum to myself. It's wonderful to see you. Great Thanks to so see much you. Thanks. Have a safe flight well, and we'll see much. you again soon.